Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, hello. Welcome to the end of 2016. This is our last Amen. show of the year. Wow. Turning pages. <laughs> Turning yeah, pages. Ready to move on to 2017. A lot happened this year. Yep. Yeah, a lot of new things. I mean, and a lot of good new things. I mean, a lot of new construction. Um, things that we had wanted for years in town, the new elementary school building, and mm -hmm. we've had, you know, Joe and Mike on here from the elementary school building committee, and finally it's groundbreaking, and I think they're in it next fall. Right. In um, case you don't know where that is, not, down on 85? It might be 2018. I might be wrong. Yeah. Uh, the DPW building is finally going up. I yep. think that should be this yeah. year. Yeah. I've seen the clearing, but is there construction happening yet? Yep. Okay. And then um, library. the library. And it looks gorgeous already. And I know that's 2018 too, yeah. or the end of 2017. I got to tell you, I'm excited for the library right downtown. I know, it's going to be gorgeous. Focal Point, it'll be just a neat, neat facility and building. It hasn't been bad lot. though, having the temporary small location in my own hood. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can almost walk. But you know, every time my adult kids come home, I mean, again, they marvel at the changes in Hopkinton. Oh. You know. So it just really makes you proud. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, a lot of new businesses opened this year and a lot of new development. I mean, Legacy East started. Um, we have a new retirement community that Fairview opened up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And we have a new fire chief this yeah. year. That's right. We have two yeah. new selectmen. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of new this year. Um, I think one of the, you know, we have a new plaza, shopping plaza altogether from 110 Grill right. to all the businesses and they're all brand new. That place is hopping all the time. And I mean, yeah. you can't get a parking spot. I yeah. mean, I think it's a, se it's a second year for the built the parking lot where Unibank and Starbucks mm -hmm. is, so that's not yeah. new. But right. then um, the off right there in Main Street, um, that whole little tiny complex is filling up. Um, the old, I wish, you know, where the old Central Chap used to be. I don't know what oh, the address right, right, is. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, it's... Um, I love how they put the lights on this pizza. holiday and the wreath. It was so pretty, that, that little walkway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know where Razor's Edge is now yeah. and moved over, and Chef Lee is going in there. Um, you know, more municipal parking right back in yeah. there, which is really great. It's 37 well, spots they put in. Well, and it's private parking that they've opened up to the municipality. So it's it's... The, the owners so have said, and I'll be. Honest, it's easier to park there than to park behind CVS and walk oh up out, right, and right. stuff like that. <laughs> Even though people seem to be really preoccupied, like we should get that lot. Like, really, <laughs> there's one right there. Yeah, I'll be okay. glad when the three empty buildings fill in. You know where the old photography studio was, oh, and yeah. lovely lady, and and those of course, yeah, I look forward to, to those. Are, yeah, I look forward to seeing we what goes can, in there. And I mean, I, I think this makes Patricia. Happy. We finally can get eggs again in Hockington. You know what's that? <laughs> Egg spoon. Oh, oh yes. yeah. I love the spoon. And I, you know what? I go there a lot by myself. Just as a quick, oh, I want to grab a lunch. I love, I get a BLT and a Coke if I'm not doing breakfast. You know, um, it's just like a real home diner. It's, I love it. It is. It's our home I diner. I like it more now than I, you know, I go, I've gone many more times than the new spot than yeah. I ever did at the Same old spot. Here. Yeah. And stuff. And I think we're in there at least once every other week. Yeah. 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 And it's like, you know, like, we, there's a place to get eggs. There's a place to get eggs. <laughs> we get eggs. <laughs> there, I mean, you know, of a town that's had expansion in different restaurants and things like that, we had no breakfast for a year and a half. That's right. Nothing. That's right. At least yeah. in our own town. Exactly. Well, you know, um, I, I go to the dentist upstairs, and you know, they were lamenting up there because they're here in town, looking forward to more food options, you know, love bills. And, you know, pan thai, but looking forward to more choices here in town. Oh, they feel town. like all the action is happening, yeah, you know, at the, on the other end. Well, but you have, um, as I said, those open space. You said those open space. And then out by Waterfresh, the yes. brewery. The I brewery. The brewery. That is a real kicker. It is so much fun. So we're, we're, we're hip and happy yeah, to town. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think we're really <laughs> cool. I, I know that if people go to the chamber networking events and things yeah. like that, the one on January 10th will be at Start Line. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. That's like going to that. pack a crowd, that'll be, I bet. Um, that'll pack a crowd. A, a, a chamber event. You'll get to sample the beers. You'll get to, get to know the owners of it. Yeah. You'll sample some... Um, appetizers that are going to be made by Waterfresh that complement the beers, right. and they're doing some pairing. I have a new pairing. chef there, and that chef is amazing. 
Oh, and so awesome. I was really impressed. I mean, I love all the choices. We have all these businesses in town, and everything just keeps getting yeah. better. Well, you know, there, um, we met a um, new couple in town last night at a party that we were all at, and I was so fun talking to them because they moved here from a neighboring town, and they knew somewhat about Hopkinton, but they are feeling just more and more excited about living here and saying, you know, there's so much to do, which we never over the past couple of decades ever would say that about H-Town, but we can now. There's stuff to do. Good, you don't have to go good, far. Good changes. Good and changes. I, I think like when you mentioned businesses, I think one of the biggest business changes that has happened in Hopkinton in the past 30 years is that EMC is now Dow. Dow. Yeah. And yes. you know, we don't know long term what that will mean mm -hmm. for the town. So but it's definitely, it's definitely a, a huge change from signage to oh, you yeah. know, people moving here from Texas to work that work there, some people from here moving there. And it's a big, big change it's to not say huge. things are EMC anymore. It's one yeah. of the biggest, you know, technological technology company upsets, you know, in, in recent time. Well the top five yeah. technology companies in the world. So. Well, I posted that, you know, I read in the, in the Globe or something that the CEO, Michael Dell, unlike the former, you know, CEO of EMC who was from here, he's not, he's not moving to Hopkinton. He's going to have a swank condo down in Boston. Boston right. He's yeah. apparently a city guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, fun. the one thing that is not changing and actually is growing is an EMC certainly creates an environment for it is that we have a small little incubator out here that's getting some legs to it and we're getting some new little startups that yeah. are coming to Hopkinton and opening their businesses here and are trying to leverage and I think by having more of a community for them to hang right, out in right. they're liking that too um, so excellent. there's a little bit of a tiny draw we're never going to be Cambridge or Boston right. but just a nice little hub well, not if uh, Barbara Finer of Tech Sandbox had helped it. She's yes. been tirelessly and working, and that continues to be a, um, a resource yes. uh, and a, re a place for uh, incubation and, yep. and innovation. All good. All good. All good stuff. Yeah, and uh, we've done a lot this yeah. year. RHH has been busy. We've been busy. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, we've been busy, you know, having fun together, but then in some of our events and things, and then having doing good in the community. I That's think and a lot point. of good in the community and we've done. And, and it's the royal we though. It's not just the three of us, but it's been the RHH community that mm -hmm. have participated and helped facilitate and be part of um, various events and various activities that right. have allowed uh, monies to go back to some really cool organizations. And that Royal We includes the community supporters. Yes, who, right. Um, we and it's we funny, appreciate like if you so saw much. me playing with a paper here, I had actually written a list of the majority of, I think, what of our community supporters with Real Housewives. And there was over 30 of them that really helped us be able to engage in community. Some of the events we did, uh, some were just sponsors of events. Uh, Trina Mackey has been a sponsor three years running as a mm -hmm. lead sponsor for Shopping for the Cause. Right. And, and I got to tell you, this year, um, I think it crept up upon us, but our hope is to set a date maybe as early as June to start you know, locking in vendors and creating something that will be hopefully a very great annual event. Absolutely. I got to tell you, this year, if you came and didn't drink your money's worth and eat your money's <laughs> worth, well then shame on you. It was like the cheapest, uh, for $20, <laughs> dollars, uh, you could have probably had your own bottle of wine. Where else, <laughs> where else can you shop and, and have wine? So that, you know, the and Shopping for a Cause has been, you know, it's third annual, another successful. And it's kind of fun. We are actually able to announce a date within the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna keep this, because we're keeping the location at the Cultural Arts, and they want to bridge it on the stroll weekend. Yes. Yeah. Um, we are actually going to absorb their holiday craft Perhaps, boutique yeah. mm -hmm. into our shopping for the cause. That'd be a major. And so it'll thing. be a lot bigger, and it may run a little bit different too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, it'll still be, and it'll definitely be on a weekend again. So it might be the Saturday afternoon or the Sunday afternoon, but we'll be able to lock into a date on this. It, the date for holiday stroll is already set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For 2017. We like that so. early December time frame. So, yeah. and it worked out no. well. And um, that Sunday afternoon, late afternoon. It did. It did. Fun In fact, stuff. it let us. Um, that event alone, I know we announced in the last show, but we contributed to five um, organizations, right? 
HCI um, project just because I'm going to blow it. Seven dwarfs, respite center, lions, and senior center. Senior. Thank you. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you know what? And within those. We've given to them, some of them, multiple times yes. over and over again. Yes. Some yep. were new. Mm -hmm. I mean, HCA, we've been a supporter of several times this year. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, when we look at the list of organizations that we've supported, sometimes they've gotten like a one hit, you know, getting involved and stuff like that. And others, like the Metro West YMCA is another yeah. one. Um, and, you know, Patricia's very much vested in the Y. Yeah. Well, and I'm actually um, joining your audit committee. You so, are yeah. welcome, welcome. It's a, it's a great organization. <laughs> I'm I'm proud to be a newbie on the on their board, but um, it's been uh, they, you know they're doing well, wonderful things. And once a year we've done the, I guess we get to call it annual Be Brave Ropes Course event. I would love to turn it into twice a year. The Y is so gracious. It's a wonderful opportunity to get out there and to challenge yourself. But it's the Y loves it. They get to showcase some of their facilities. Mm -hmm. um, we had. This past fall, uh, 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 over 15 uh, mm -hmm. women do it, and they tell us that they could accommodate 20 to 25 of us if we mm -hmm. can get that many of us to go. And I know a lot of people want to do it. I it's know fun. that um, people have asked too. Um, I, we did it in 2015 and didn't do it at all last year. Was doing another kayak day. Oh, oh at the park. Park. that was so and fun. That was yeah. a fun day. I mean, some of the things that we did that were just even fun was. Um, Oh. In August, over two dozen of us went to oh, Civic yeah. Kitchen, had a great night out. Um, Real Housewives was able to supplement a small piece of yeah. it, mm -hmm. and then everyone chipped just in and had a great yeah, night. Just so that was fun. Amazing. And I thought what was cool about that night was there was newbies in town, people oh, who had been seasoned group in town, of people, um, people with no kids, people with kids out of the house, people with kids in every different school. Right. Um, and not everybody knew each other. Folks were not cause, even close. Because our social events allow people to come who you can come on your own. A lot of, people, a lot of women don't like to go somewhere by themselves. They're like a swim you buddy. You, know, want, you, know, you, need, you need a, what do you call it, a wing person. Yeah, a wing person. But not at our events. Once you come, you're just family. Just come yeah. on and, in, and, and it's amazing. That is a common bond, and it makes it easier for people to connect. Yeah. And then friendships. Um, and I will tell you, that's probably one of the common themes about RHH is community and the friendships and, and the spawning of yeah. that. The so. book club is a fun one. Now, the book oh. club yeah. spurred off of, you, you know, a local business reaching out to us saying, hey, we want to do something with Real Housewives. Have you guys into the bank and do something that Unibank. would be fun. Yeah. So Doris Hamburger at Unibank reached out and said, Branch you know, manager. She's, she's, heard mm -hmm. of, she's heard Hank Philby Riley speak before, reads her books, was able to arrange. The bank paid for um, the hospitality. Hospitality. Of it. And we were able to bring, Hank is a paid guest, um, come in. She spoke about her life, her books. And then what spurred from it became what you're talking about now. Our book club. <laughs> and of course, our first book was one of Hank Philippi Ryan's, That Being Say No More. So, Good old read. Now, have you guys finished it? You know what? My husband took the book and started reading it. I read the second. I read the book before that one, and now I'm starting the book in between those two. Yep. But we're hoping to have her back. So we have two dates now. We're working for the next book club meeting, and um, we've been communicating with Hank and her publicist. And um, so the next book club meeting is actually going to be here. Yeah. We're going to tape a show with Hank, like a Q&A, and then afterwards we'll have our just book club here in this room. I, I, I I she said she wants to interview us. So I am it'll be so kind of excited, no, no. but i got to well, tell you. And that'll be one of our I'm early intimidated. It's like, oh, goodness, she's <laughs> going to find out, like, how fly-by-night we are. Oh, <laughs> it's like, hey. oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> what were you saying? Were you I'm say? sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's neat because um, she really thinks we're – Kind of fun, and, and we and are kind of fun. Kind of neat. Um, <laughs> We're very fun. Don't you know and how funny. fun I think I am? <laughs> <laughs> We're fun or funny, that's for sure. Yeah, funny. You know, but that's going to be. I mean, how often? I mean, that's always pretty special to have a debrief with the actual author. Yeah. So you know, the club and it'll is going to do that. It'll be our book club, but we're going to open it up to others who want to so come. So if you want to quick grab the book. Enjoy Say that. no more. It's Come join us, and you can meet the author and talk to her about the book. Yeah, and it'll be. We're going to announce some dates. The soon. date's coming up, but I, well, it's like the third the week in second or third week in yeah. January. Yeah. The, um, you know, and you, we talked about shopping for the cause and how we were doing that with cultural arts, and mm -hmm. I moved the location, everything else. 
the very next night, the Cultural Arts hosted a Real Housewife event there themselves. I None of us actually could even be there. Right. And they went ahead and did it. Yeah. And we had the first oh. Real Housewives of Hoppington Pottery Night. Pottery Night. And right. It, and it's, yes. When we posted it up on that page, that thing sold out sold in 10 out. minutes. Mm. They can only take eight people at a time. Yeah. Yep. You know, because, well, there's it's only done, yeah, so, so many, many wheels and clay, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but that and, was cool. And that they, was cool. And but some of the small groups, small things are fun. They're more intimate. Some people like the bigger scenes. Some people like the smaller uh, activities. And they said the same thing, that it was, you know, women that have been involved in a lot of things we've done. Um, Janice Bogowski was oh, there, but yeah. she was, you know, there the day before, and she was there at the, you know, the boutique and different, you know, Civic and all that stuff. And then the people that had never been to anything that Real Housewives had done had mm -hmm. come. Yeah. And um, that's what's fun is it brings people out who have different interests. We do different things mm -hmm. that are varied. It yeah. may not be something I'm interested in, but it might be something you're, you know. Yeah. Me, I gig on the ropes course, and I know you guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, you know, the, and HDA has already reached out to us to do a winter event. They want to do a paint night there. Mm -hmm. And um, that would be fun. We were thinking maybe sometime in February and we want to do something with um, you know it all starts here yeah leading into yeah. the marathon time and doing some sort of painting that would be that exactly um, so we got to do things to get us out this winter because you know we're into the long haul now the mm -hmm. holidays yep. over or soon to yep. be over and we got Jan I always think of the, the long months for me January February any, any New Year's resolutions you want to announce out loud <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I have to reshape kind of the, you know, the resolution thing makes you feel, it's like a failure if you don't do the thing. But um, I don't know. I have to think about that. Well, I you look know. at 2017 as, for me, a lot of new beginnings. And I'm um, excited about my own business. And we're growing. And while it's not new, we hired a new some house. people. That's a big yeah. news. Just, yeah. you know, I'm not leaving Hopkinton, but I just bought something to, to oh, a vacation, hey, home, yeah. a vacation home. And so, I'm hey, we'll have to go down there and hang out in the winter, too. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, come, you know, come be my friend and join me. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, I look at just 2017 as, I think every new year we all do. Yeah. Changes in the positive, optimistic, Absolutely. looking at new beginnings. Turn that page. Turn Absolutely. that page. So, you know, I want to. How about you? Anything you, know. you want to? No, I, no, I normally don't make them and stuff. Um, but I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna know. live in my blanket fort for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to name specific things, but I do want to think about you know focus on health. I want to focus on new experiences, even small things. Like for instance, Brad and I are gonna go to first night. We've never done that in all these years down in Boston. And, you know, it's not anything I normally, I always kind of cuddle into the fireplace and so forth. I said, you know what, let's just break it out and we're, we're going to do that. And How fun. You know, just to shake it up a I little bit. I did it for the first time last year. Yeah, you I should, had a blast. So, you know, cold or not, I've whatever the weather. I've still never done it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done no 4th of July on the Esplanade ever. I've done that. I've done you that know. once. So there's some bucket listings that aren't, yep. you know, like uh, way off the charts. But um, I guess that's what I'm thinking about. Whale watching. I've done it in other places, but not in the Boston Harbor. Oh, I've done it in so, the Boston Harbor and, yeah. and saw no whales. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't know that I did it. I tried. I did it in Hawaii. I did it in Gloucester, but yeah. I got yeah. boat sick on it. You can't. So anything yeah. you want to learn new? I'm going to mm -hmm. try that rad course at the police. What is doing? It's called rad. It's a de oh, self defense for women. It's a rape aggression defense course. Jeez, Very that cool. sounds scary right there. And um, I don't know. It might be happening here, but the police do it, and it starts in two weeks Soon. on Tuesday nights, mm -hmm. and it's five Tuesday nights from six to nine. And um, you just email Officer Brennan, and it's open to the first thirty people that email. Wow. So the thing that I think. Courses like that. Do, some good pictures. Is they <laughs> You're give, coming, right? <laughs> oh, no, it's a bit, confidence to take pictures? Yeah. and empowerment, and and it's and to be aware and and to give you some tools that if you don't feel comfortable, right? Um, and and I think those are valuable tools and skill sets for anybody, for absolutely yeah. anybody. One of our um, community supporters, Myra O'Connell, the law firm, a couple years ago, they had a. Um, talk for you know their women clients female clients and they had a self-defense guy there not doing the actual stuff but talking about the things we need to be aware of that was so scary to me i mean i think it's going to be awesome that you do it and maybe you can inspire I us mean, it's something you know. out of my comfort zone and yeah. to try it so and it's been kind of something 
I wanted to either try that or try kickboxing, so I'm yeah. trying that. It's right here in town. But then, yeah, that's something like kickboxing. That. You, I would rock at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hit something. Don't mess with I want to hit with something. But, um, I want to give a shout out and, and a thank you to um, Margie Wiggins and to Moria Saba on the around the diversity um, relative to the Youth Commission work that they're they're doing. I'm engaging and talking about things. They hosted a forum at the. Um, the, the Hopkinton Historical, Historical Society. Society there on 85. And it was really well attended. People shared stories, all positive. There's so much love in this town. And so people coming together to talk about the positive aspects and how we want to keep this community one where we're, we're one regardless of political differences and other kinds. But we come together in this town. And, um, you well, know, we're, we're all with about the youth, that. I think is important because. Um, not that, uh, I mean, it, it is traditional to, um, kids will pick on each other, you know, it, it, it well, kids are kids. You start with Dickinson's tales and stories and it's all in there <laughs> and, and all of us have our own growing up as children and helping to channel that energy a little differently and to look at things a little differently, um, and to understand that we are different, but that, that doesn't make us anything other than different. You know. It's beautiful. I mean, I think the neat thing with Tamori, and we've had her on the show talking about her personal mission with mm -hmm. women's health, but she's only been here a year and has yeah. barely delved in. And then, you know, different committees that I've been involved in this fall, all we saw was a lot of people start raising their hands, yeah. wanting to get more involved, get more involved in the community. And, you know, and as people have been coming to me in a committee I'm involved in, we have been actually forming them out to other committees saying, you know what, you're a good fit here. And two of them were just this past week where mm -hmm. I sent them to Tamori and Margie, mm -hmm. um, a father and a daughter. Um, he may be an attorney even in this building, but the daughter is an, a junior in high school, wants to get involved in anti-bullying and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I introduced her to the, that and Denise. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, the father wants to get involved in environmental sciences, nice. brought them over, introduced them to other people. Um, but there's been a lot of like raising their hands and yeah. really wanting to do stuff. This the, it would see changes in 2017. Um, well, and one it, very positive event that's coming up that um, I'll be putting out introductions all over the web in um, the next week is um, the Sunday before Martin Luther King Day at the mosque in uh, Hopkinton right. will be um, an interfaith event. Oh. The interfaith event will be mosque leaders, Catholic leaders, Protestant leaders, rabbis, uh, state um, Jewish leaders, yep. um, mm -hmm. uh, people from the state house coming in. Again, kind of like a QA and a panel, but another of really just embracing each other's cultures. Mm. And um, a bridge of what we did last winter of kind of meet your Muslim neighbor to now, you know, uh, we've had a dream and let's keep this dream alive right. off of Martin Luther King. Is, it, is there a date set? Is it happening? Yes, it's a Sunday before Martin Luther King. Oh, you King said Day. that. Okay. So, um, whatever that. Yeah. I, I can't remember. I was going to say, if you had, you know, I always think food, when, when diverse people come together, yeah. to have different foods is always a, a well, bridge builder. And, and part of um, what's also been going on in the community is, you know, kind of building off of what Darlene said is the fact that more people have been raising their hand, have been wanting to get involved, both a little more behind the scenes mm -hmm. as well as actively in, in um, town ongoings to make certain that we are considered a very inclusive. Yes. We want to be ahead of the curve on uh, how we engage with our uh, fellow uh, Hopkintonians mm -hmm. and to be on that edge of just uh, an open, embrace of uh, town. Absolutely. Um, it's good to have that facilitation yeah. to your point about you making some introductions because you've been around a long time you, you're connected in various ways. We are all are in different yeah. ways mm -hmm. but many times people come new and they want to get involved they don't know how. They don't know so how to. Right. This is and great. I, mm -hmm. I think yeah, a lot of times people will come to me or someone like us, mm -hmm. any of us, and say like, you know, can you get me get involved and do this, this, and this? And I'm like, I'm not the right person, but this person mm -hmm. is. And that at times we have to let go and say we don't own this. Right. And like, but you know, somebody who they can at least uh, explore. Yeah, you know, with here's the next it. introduction, mm -hmm. and take it from there, and have that next person take the lead in it because, you know, my hands have been all over the place in this town for over two decades, and. You know, 
but there are things where I know those aren't my ballywicks. Right. And yeah. like, let's well, go we have on. various interest areas too. Yeah. So you want to align people with what they, and what they like. And I want to most. actually shout out a little bit more about give a a lot of what we've done this year. Um, we've had over thirty supporters. I mean, now that you, I forgot even Mira O'Connell on the list yeah. and, that I wrote, and then um, at least a half a dozen supporters of different events brings us closer to 40 different supporters in 2016. Right. Right. With that, we have donated from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars, and here are the organizations right off the top of the head that benefited from you guys supporting Real Housewives yeah. of Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. Sportsman's Tennis and Enrichment Center, which is one that I've been personally involved with in Dorchester. The Center for Women and Enterprises, which Connie I'm is on, on the board. board. Thank mm -hmm. you. The Metro West YMCA. Board. The Boston <laughs> YW. Yeah. Live for Evan, who we actually had on the oh, show yeah. and had the whole story and things like that. Right. Um, and we walked in that race, or you know, uh, twice. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Hopkins Center for the Arts, which yes. we've helped multiple times. Project Just Because has been one that we've helped every year. Repeatedly. Yes, every Repeatedly year. and every year. Hopkins Senior Center we started this year. Mm -hmm. Michael Carter Linslow Center, the Hopkins Lions Club. And I still think we're missing. I think I we're know, missing. Yeah. We gotta look. Uh, yeah. Things, but I mean. Without these community supporters, we wouldn't be able to give back to all these organizations. No, right. And um, it's been a, a, a very substantial amount of money when yeah. it came down to it. And we help you guys have helped us be able to engage in helping others. We yeah. couldn't do Thank it without you. you. Thank no, we you. couldn't Thank do it without, you. Our, without our community supporters. So, that, Connie, and we the have a, an event a week from Saturday. Oh, yes. Join us to go dance and party ah. with Hot Acoustics. January 7th, it's, I'm going to close it out though in the next day or two because tables are filling up fast and they max out and um, we're hoping to just ring in the yeah. new year. It's, it's a week after New Year's and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Local band members, so come Hot Acoustics come is hot. So if you are a member of RHH on the Facebook page, you can find the event. If you're not, search out the event on Eventbrite. Yep. And you'll find it. Yeah. But so it's open to all. Yep. And uh, not just women. Bring your And it's gonna you know, guarantee others. you uh, your cover charge, a drink, and seating right up front by the VIP band. Right by the band. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna be a fun time. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Right. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us. See you in twenty seventeen. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you.